Hi everyone, my name is Shauna, in case you don't know, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you where to get different editions of the Harry Potter books. I collect different editions of the Harry Potter books, so I'm going off of what I know, but if you have some other tips and places to get different editions of the Harry Potter books, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. So there is tons of editions of all of the Harry Potter books. I collect mostly editions of the first Harry Potter book because I feel like there's the most editions of that book. I have, I think, around like 20 editions of the first Harry Potter book that are all unique and very different from each other. So I'm going to be talking about where I got those. And hopefully this video will help you all collect more editions of the Harry Potter books. So to start off with, secondhand bookstores. Now there isn't a guarantee that you're going to be able to even find Harry Potter books at secondhand bookstores. I'm talking like local bookstores, but they sell whatever they get. So if they get a unique edition of the Harry Potter books, then you can get that edition there. What I do is whenever I'm on vacation, I look for a bookstore, specifically a secondhand bookstore, and I make sure to go there. Now it could be travels like a doctor's appointment, like say my doctor's appointment is an hour away in a different city. Then I will be like, is there any secondhand bookstores in the area? And then I go to them. So the thing about these secondhand bookstores is that I can't like say like, oh, go to this one because it will only be in like one small city in my state that I've been to and all of you probably can't go to it. So just open up Google Maps on your phone and search in bookstore and then do research in the bookstores and be like, is this a secondhand one? And if it is, then be like, I'm gonna check it out. Now don't go in expecting to find every edition of the book available, but I have found some very unique editions of the Harry Potter books at used bookstores. But specifically, I found the British paperback edition of the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone when I was in Bend, Oregon. I was there for a doctor's appointment and I found a used bookstore and I found that edition of the first book so that was really exciting. The next place I recommend is sort of along the same lines of a used bookstore but it's a used and new bookstore. There is a bookstore called Pals Books. I believe it ships everywhere in the US, I'm not sure if it ships worldwide. Pals Books is the largest bookstore in the world. They have two different locations in Oregon, which is my state in case you can't tell. They have a huge selection of the Harry Potter books and the different editions. If you're ever in the Oregon area, I really recommend swinging by that bookstore if you want to collect more Harry Potter editions. They have like a huge shelf space dedicated to Harry Potter. They have everything from different editions of the Harry Potter books to all the little like fan guides that go along with the books. There's just like every Harry Potter book imaginable at Pals Books. They do have a selection on Online, but their selection is better in store. You can feel free to check out their online store. I'll link that down in the description below. But they have some of the best variety of the different Harry Potter editions that I've ever seen. And the next place to get them is if you ever travel internationally, if we ever get back to normal and COVID goes away. The UK and the US covers vary drastically from each other, even though they speak the same language in the UK and the US. So go to a bookstore in every different country that you visit because they will have different editions of the books. Again, just pull out your phone, type in bookstore when you're at the location on Google Maps and it will pull up the nearby bookstores or just walk around, explore the city and if you find a bookstore, pop on in and say, hey, do you know where the Harry Potter books are? Or do some looking on your own until you find them. I did that in France and Germany and I got some beautiful editions of the Harry Potter books. And if you're ever specifically in the UK, head on over to Waterstones. I found a ton of great editions of the Harry Potter books at Waterstones. Another great place to get different unique editions of the Harry Potter books is eBay. eBay is the online site where you can buy secondhand items. Some people use it to make business, some people use it just to make a little extra cash when they have stuff that they don't want in their house. The reason why you recommend eBay as opposed to like Amazon and all that is because in eBay, first of all, they can sell stuff that's out of print. So if there's like an edition that's out of print, you might be able to find it on eBay. And also with eBay, they are required to post pictures directly of the copy of the book that they are selling. They aren't going to be posting just like a generic photo or they're not going to be like, oh, you're ordering Sorcerer Stone, you'll get any of the ones that we have available. They post the exact photo and exact cover that you're getting. And you can also get some that are in different languages and that are from different countries. So like eBay is really good if you're okay with getting secondhand books. Two more places where you can get Harry Potter books. So the next one is going to be Goodwill and thrift stores, but specifically Goodwill because they always have a great book selection and they always have Harry Potter books at Goodwill. So again, it's sort of like the secondhand bookstores. They get what they get and they sell what they get. So you can oftentimes find some great editions of the Harry Potter books at Goodwills. And the final place I'm going to be mentioning for today's video is Barnes & Noble. You can get some good editions at Barnes & Noble. I've normally seen at least two different editions at each Barnes & Noble whenever I go. And then Barnes & Noble also has a collection of books that are in different languages like Spanish and whatnot and you can get some fun editions like that in different languages at Barnes & Noble. So I highly recommend checking out all these places that I mentioned in the video if you're looking to collect different editions of the Harry Potter books. 
If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. Feel free to check out all of my other social media, it will all be linked down in the description below. And feel free to turn on the notification button to get a notification every time I upload a new video. I hope the rest of your week is magical and fun and I will see all of you in my next video. Goodbye!